Michelle Dixie here. Today I want to tell y'all about the shelter that I'm taking with me on the PCT when I head out there with my mom and my little dog Fancy May this summer to fill in the fire closure areas from my through hike in 2017. <laughs> The shelter that I chose is the Z-Pax Triplex. It's pretty similar to the duplex that I carried on the PCT and the CDT during those through hacks, but I knew that I was gonna need some more room and I wanted something that was lightweight considering that I needed a three person shelter for myself, my mom, and the extra space that my dog Fancy will need. The Triplex weighs 22 and a half ounces and it's pretty much almost unheard of to have a three person shelter that's under two pounds, especially, you know, one that's what, one pound, six and a half ounces. The triplex comes with directions to help you set it up. There are also videos online that you can look up if you need a little extra help, but it's one of those things that once you set it up a couple of times, you get the hang of it pretty quick because it's fairly simple. You basically just stake out the four corners and a stake on each side. I always leave a little slack in the line when I stake it out because the next step is putting up the trekking poles and if the line is too tight, then you have to run around and loosen those. So I leave a little slack in it, then stake out the trekking poles, and then I go around and just kind of tighten everything up. For the triplex, you need eight stakes. Again, one in each corner, one on each side, and then to stake out the two trekking poles, you need one at each trekking pole. There are two tie-outs on the wall of the triplex. That's another difference that I noticed between the triplex and the duplex. The duplex only has one, the triplex two on each side, but this is just to give you a little extra headspace if you wanted it, or if it was a pretty windy night, just to kind of help stabilize things a little better. So eight stakes are required. You could possibly use 12. It's really up to you. The stakes are not included, so you can order them separately from Z-Packs, or you could even pick them up at your local outfitter. The first thing I noticed when I set up the triplex is how roomy it is. I felt like I could do a cartwheel or something inside of it. Not actually, but it is very roomy, especially compared to the duplex. The duplex m might have worked for my mom and Fancy and me, but I felt like we really needed more space to be comfortable. And especially if it rains while we're out there and we want to spread our gear out while we're sleeping at night, then we definitely needed more room than the duplex had to offer for like two people and a dog. So the triplex seems like it will be plenty big enough for mom and me and fancy. The interior dimensions are a peak height of 48 inches, a floor width of 60 inches, and a floor length of 90 and a half inches. The zipper entry height, so the little arch areas on the netting where you climb inside the tent, are 36 inches high. And then the vestibule depth on either side, so there are two doors, I guess actually four doors if you consider each foldable or rollable panel, but two areas of entry on either side and the vestibule depths on either side is 20.75 inches. The first difference that I noticed between the duplex and the triplex other than how it's obviously got more space and more roomy is where the pockets are located on side of the tent. So there are two pockets in the triplex and also in the duplex. In the duplex, they're located near either the foot or the head area. And on the triplex, they're located right there at the doorway. So I don't know if that will be more convenient because you can roll over and it's right there on whatever slide you're sleeping on or if it's gonna be kind of in the way if I have stuff in there, if I go to climb in and out of the tent, you know, I don't wanna put a knee down on the screen on my phone and, and crunch it, but you know, it might not be a big deal, just a difference that I noticed. The triplex, like the rest of z -Pack's shelters, is made out of Dyneema composite fabric, or you might also see it read as DCF. It has a high strength to weight ratio, so it doesn't tear easily, and it's resistant to damage in the wind. It can be a little noisy at night on a windy night, but for how lightweight the material is compared to its shortcomings, to me it's worth it, but it's all about personal preference. DCF is also waterproof, so this tent is a single walled tent. Sometimes with single walled tents you can have condensation issues. I feel like with most of them you'll probably have condensation issues, 
But what I like about what ZPAX does with their shelters, with the, the duplex, the solplex, or now the plexamid, um, also with the triplex, is there's like a net material around the bathtub floor inside. So the idea is that, yes, there will be condensation that collects on the wall of the tent, but when it runs down, it'll run through that mesh area. Also, if it's not actively raining and, you know, the wind blowing the rain around, you can open up one of the doors on the shelter and that helps with some extra ventilation to help cut down on the condensation. Not sleeping next to water can also help with condensation on single walled tents or double walled tents, but a single walled tent is likely to be more lightweight than the double wall, which is the case of this shelter. And that is really what I was going for because I know that I'm gonna be carrying extra equipment with my dog Fancy going along and also camera equipment to record along the way and capture the journey. So having a more lightweight tent is worth it to me to potentially deal with a little bit of condensation issues. DCF also isn't going to stretch and sag so your tent should stay taut throughout the night and if it rains it doesn't absorb water like other tents will that are made out of nylon etc so I really like it for that too because when I pack up the tent wet sure there's going to be some rain on the outside of it and it'll be damp but I'm not carrying a whole lot of water weight that's absorbed into my tent while it was raining at night. The triplex is already seam sealed so you don't have to worry about that when you receive it and also you don't need the added weight of a ground cloth because the DCF material that the bathtub floor is made from is durable and you won't have to worry about it tearing up or anything like that. I carried it on the PCT, CDT, never used a ground cloth and I never found any holes on the bathtub floor of my tent. The life expectancy of a triplex is a 2,500 plus mile through hike that's what z-packs claims and then you know they warranty the tent up to that point but if you're taking it out for section hikes and you take care of it they say that it should last you a pretty long while this tent was a whopping 699 dollars which i know is pretty expensive for a tent but having a tent that was lightweight very roomy and would be comfortable for me and my mom and my dog it's it's worth it to me also it's from a cottage company in the u.s this isn't a product that's made in china so you're going to expect to pay a little bit extra for something like that and i love my duplex so i'm hoping that i will also enjoy the triplex i will definitely let y'all know after we spend a couple months in it this summer if any of y'all have used the triplex and you have any feedback on it i would love to hear that in the comments below or if any of y'all have a three-person tent that you've used and enjoy that's pretty lightweight i'd like to hear about that too because i know that not everybody's gonna go out and buy a 699 dollars tent so if there are some other lightweight options out there somebody might find useful hearing your experience so feel free to share all of that in the comments y'all thank y'all so much for watching if you want to follow our journey this summer make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified when those videos come out thank y'all again and we will see y'all next time